All right, YouTube, big change. Background is gone. And this is probably just a temporary background. Um, my 3D background, I'll show you some pictures of. got a little couple holes in it and the water started seeping in and it the silicone basically peeled off like a layer of skin I wasn't really worried about it getting destroyed but I was worried about the fish so I just ripped it out of the tank this is a pretty simple background I've never seen anyone do it what I did was I just found a uh, like a pencil drawing online and uh, I put it in Photoshop and I blew it up to 48 by 20 and then um, cut it out printed it on like 12 pieces of paper I think and I cut it out and just taped it to the poster board and this is my temporary until I think I'm gonna get a 3d slim background I found one that I like that's like $85 so I think I'm gonna go ahead and get that before I get my new fish, but for now this is kind of cool actually, you know, it's uh, better than just, I didn't want to see all the stuff behind the tank. It's totally better than just looking at white poster board, and you know, it's kind of cool. But anyway, just wanted to update you, um, thought that 3D background was going to last a lot longer, but if you're going to do your own DIY background and you're going to submerge it in water, you have to make sure over and over and over again with silicone to make sure you don't miss a single spot. All you got to do is miss one little spot and once that water starts seeping underneath the silicone, then that silicone li literally just lifts right off. So I really liked that background, but I'm into changing stuff. So we'll see. Fish look real good, real bright against, uh, you know, nothing but white background. But just quick update, wanted to let you guys know. Thanks uh, for subscribing. Uh, please like the video and subscribe. Thanks a lot.